وجودك يا أكرم الأكرمين ويا أجود العجودين ويا أرحم الراحمين أما بعد عباد الله يكون سبحانه جل شأنه في محكم التنزيل أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا تقوا الله والتنظر نفس ما قدم لغد وتقوا الله إن الله خبير بما تعملون ولا تكونوا كالذين نسوا الله فأنساهم أنفسهم أولئك هم الفاسقون لا يستوي أصحاب النار وأصحاب الجنة أصحاب الجنة هم الفائضون بارك الله لي ولكم بالقرآن الكريم ونفعني وإجاكم بما فيه من الآيات وذكر الحكيم إنه تعالى جواد كريم ملك بر رؤوف الرحيم الحمد لله وكفى صلوات الله وسلامه على محمد المصطفى وعلى اله اهل الصفا والوفا وبعد I bear witness that none deserve to be worshiped except Allah He is absolutely one He is indivisible He did not begin and he will never come to an end and there is none like unto him and I have your witness that the leader of mankind, our leader and patron Muhammad, yeah, is the messenger of Allah and is opposed to. May Allah bless him and give him peace, including members of his household, his peer companions, and all those who follow the guidance that he brought until the day of Qiyamah. May you and I be eternally included among this elite group of people who are followers of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in words and deeds and who will be under his canopy on the day of Qiyamah. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. Today, brothers and sisters, we want to dwell on the topic of anger. One of the worst qualities that a man could have is anger. A man is as good as his ability to restrain himself from anger. A young man went to the prophet and said, Ya Rasulullah, tell me something, if I do it, that will take me to Jannah. He said, La taqdab, don't get angry. Because the opposite of anger is sub." Patience, perseverance. And the promise of Allah in the Quran is And the reward for all that they persevered is Jannah. And raiment of silk, the like of which no one has seen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has urged us to patience. When he was describing the qualities of believers, he added emphatically, وَالْكَاذِمِينَ الْغَيْثِ وَالْعَافِينَ عَنِ النَّاسِ وَاللَّهُ يُحِبُّ الْمُحْسِنِينَ Three things that Allah has highlighted in this verse of the Quran is الْكَاذِمِينَ الْغَيْثِ Those who restrain their angers, who are they? Man al kazimin al ghayz. Who are the restrainers of anger? Those who have been genuinely offended and they have the capacity for anger. Not everyone has the capacity for anger or to display anger. There are some people, and in some situations, you could even be offended, but who are you to be angry? You dare not even complain. They will ask you, is anything wrong? You say, yes, sir, nothing is wrong. Everything is fine. But those who have the capacity to show anger, and they have the capacity to retaliate, but they restrain their anger. Restraining of anger is a quality of the elites among human beings. Let me tell you that anger 
by itself is one of the gifts that Allah has given to us. And anger is divided into two. There is a praiseworthy anger and there is a blameworthy anger. We cannot be human beings without the faculty of anger. That is a gift that Allah has given to us. You just have to have the capacity for anger. If you don't have the capacity for anger, then you are not human. And then this does not apply to you if you don't have the ability to be angry. Because you lack the ability, you cannot restrain. You can't give what you don't have. You need to have it first. And foremost, you have to be able to show anger, to be angry. But then you choose. You elect to restrain that anger. You elect not to show that anger. You elect not to demonstrate that anger. When does anger become legitimate and compulsory? Without anger, we will not be able to defend ourselves. It is called al quwwat al ghadabiyya al quwwat al ghadabiyya is in it. It's one of the qualities that Allah has endowed human beings with. And this is what will prompt us to defend ourselves, to defend our interests, to defend our family. Not violently. It is what will hurt you. It is what will goad you. It is what will encourage you. It is what will fire you to be able to take measures of self-preservation. All that it is what will empower you to defend your faith. It is what will empower you to defend your property. These are not, I don't mean in terms of violence. You don't violate anybody's honor. You don't insult anyone. You do not perpetrate violence against anyone. <laughs> when it is done like this, it is praiseworthy. But it is blameworthy when it is done otherwise. Someone has insulted you and you want to show that person that he or she is nothing. You insult me. You don't know me. Do you know who I am? I'm better than you in everything. I'm more educated than you are. I'm richer than you are. I'm better than you are. My birth is better than you are. No, 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 no. This is negative. You are nobody. Well, Ibn Adam wal Fakhr, and wal Hu Nutfa, wa Akhir Hu Rifa. What is what is the pride of the children of Adam, whose origin, the beginning, is just semen? And the end is just cadaver. Something they need to go and throw away and bury. Otherwise, it could cause epidemic. It, it could become nuisance. So who are you? You are nobody. You are no one, the son of no one. No beginning at all. And your end is the, is the dust where you came from. Brothers and sisters in Allah's name. Once. The Prophet of Islam was distributing beauty and a Bedouin came. You know, it's just like there is an important meeting with important guests. You know, like uh, there is a gathering now and uh, the President of the United States is here. Maybe he has come to this mosque just to see us. And uh, there are so many people and someone just came without any courtesy, and the imam is standing beside the president, and he just broke, you know, protocol and say, imam, give me zakah, you are keeping this zakah, it's not your money, it's not your father's money, it belongs to Allah. That's exactly what happened to the prophet. If someone should do that in the circumstance that I've described, what do you think will happen to that person? <laughs> so Umar wanted to strike that person. And the Prophet said, restrain him and said, no. He has said the truth. It is not my property. It is not my father's property. It is the property of Allah. Allah of patience. Can you do that? Now, let me give you another instance. Jafar al-Sadiq, the brother of Sayyidina Ali, had a slave girl. And the 
slave girl carried, you know, a container of water and was pouring it, you know, in his hand. And the container fell and water splashed over, you know, uh, said Niger from Sari. And he became very annoyed. And he said, ah, yeah, Maulaya, my master, don't get annoyed. Do you know, don't you remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has described good people in the Quran as al kadimin al ghayr those who restrain their anger. He said, I'm no longer angry. Wal'afina <laughs> anil He said, I'm forgiving you. Eh? But also Allah added, Wallahu yuhibbul muhsineen. You are now free. You are no longer a slave. How many of us can behave like this? Anger is bad. So many things have been destroyed by anger. So many people have become chronic bachelors as a result of anger. They have become very, very chronic spinsters as a result of anger. You can keep a wife because you, you keep saying your wife is a very... Do you see a woman? Is there a woman in this world, even in the hereafter, is there a woman who will not insult you? Jamal, tell me you will need you need your kunifu. You see? What you bagu pay you bagu ti feya wu lo ti sign contract tarifu. Unkato soni pe. To <laughs> Anger destroys. It can destroy what you have achieved in 100 years under five minutes. What is the benefit of that kind of anger? Anger has spoiled so many relationships. So many people have become disliked and isolated because of anger. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not love those who display anger. Remember again when a young man went to the prophet and said, please, I want you to admonish me and keep it short so that I will remember it. But I want an admonition that I can hold and I can use it as a guide in my life. He said, don't laugh, don't get angry. And that was repeated several times. The Prophet was always saying, I'm saying to you, don't get angry. Even when you are provoked. In fact, without provocation, you will not be able to restrain, resist all temptation to be angry. Even under provocation, it defines who you are. Some people think they will only be respected if people know they are not going to take nonsense. <laughs> hmm? Okay, they know you are not going to take nonsense, and you will become no sense. You can't take nonsense, you will become no sense personified. And you will become something that people will ridicule. In fact, they will try you. All they want is just, you know, they want you to amuse them. You will become a plaything. Rayo Perezima Tor. What song? Katama Kole Bionu. To report my pay, I want to need like a prompt thing. So much so, can it come by? Big batting a tech, can it come cassette, a empty cassette play a joke about the tech thing by ye, your mother, your mother, your lord. Are you so you bet? 
I won't ever repay Henry, no Lucy. To buy ya, only be no for that you will. Oh, why you know suffering? I mean, to buy you soon to send it here again. The young man by being kisses a book where I've been here. I won't be coming back, you feel so soon. You feel para. You feel it salary. You feel because I like war. You feel ja for long ja. You for what learn? Jaren to be ja be alone. We bad Allah in the lie. I'm going to add what he said. What he tied the Kurba, Yenha and if I shall, you will move and will buck. Yeah, he will come like a lucky as a Karun. Obedient servant of Allah. Allah has enjoined you and I. to be just in whatever we do, to be righteous, to repay evil with that which is good. Somebody has been nasty to you, you want to repay it to a higher degree of nastiness. The Yorubas will say, Adye tamilu kumu mokfole yi kumu kambe nu tiye tele tele kena, nu ti mubu adye nye tele tele bi o debi o gure kena, o padafu e nye rena yi. Allah only in any case. What is a lady by Naka or Baina who had our Kaana who were legion Hamim? Tobas Elei, Koda or Tari, what Dore, Wama Yula Koha, Illa Ladina Soba, any coon, nearly say, I fear I want to abide on this one. أما يلا فها إلا ذو حظ عظيم أما طبعا يقولين لا لا بلا دولون كلا سلي يقولين لا هي نسوي هي لا مفكو هي لا ممالا هي نفردا هي لا فريتي إيه قبل أن تسمعني يا أيها الذين آمنوا بيو وصابي ورابي إنك كنا نفلوكم واتقوا الله Any food, you see. On fait l'occasion. Tabac, daddy, my classic. Oh, bah. C'est sûr. 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 Allah Oba, Oko Kwa Bubu Wa Pala Kala. Uto Oba Jekba Ma Filo Yon. Ma Ba Wa Dite Ou. Allah Oba Nki Lo Kwa. Kwa Ni Ba Sin. Allah Ma Ida Li Islam Wa Rahim. Wa Zilla Shidq Wa Mushidq. Amin. Adam Mira Ada Ad-Din Ajma'in. Amin. Suri Allah Ma Ibadaka Al Muhyidina Fi Ibn Iskan. Allah Ma Adib Bayna Fududi Muslimin. Wa Astaghi Zata Bayna Fi Wa Adihim Suhu Na Salam. Rabbana Alayka Tawakkalna. Alayka Anabna. وإليك المصير ربنا لا تؤخسنا إن نسينا أختنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرى ورحمنك على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به وعفنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانكرنا على الكون الكافرين أقول كوني هذا فتر الله عظيم لي ولكم ولسعير المسلمين من كل زم واستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم أقوم السلام